Hey everyone, it's Lisa Mears here. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you some ways for using border dies on your cards and I'll be making some spring mug cards today. So Pink and Main has recently come out with three new sets of border dies. There are the Fun Scallop Border Dies. These are a set of four dies in different size scallops. There's also the Waves and Scallop Border Dies, and these are a set of six wave dies as well as wavy scallop dies. And then there's also the Fun Shapes Border Dies. And I previously released a video making some cards using the first two sets the fun scallop borders and the waves and scallop borders. And in that video I made this card with the scallop border dies. You can see that I put the scallop border dies at the top and bottom of this strip of pattern paper and set all of my stamped images inside as a focal point. And then I made this card using the fun scallop borders and put the scallops at the top and bottom so that I can center up this cute little marshmallow stamp as my focal point on this card. If you want to see how I made these two cards, I will link that video here at the top right corner of this video and in the description box below. And those are just two ways of using those first two die sets. There's so many other possibilities, such as taking those scallops. You can actually use those for clouds on your card if you're making a scene card. You can use those scallops and layer different color scallops on a card front. You can also use the wave and scallops border dies as grass or snow on a scene card or hills. There are so many possibilities. And here's an example of a card that I made using the wave dies for hills. So you can see I did several different hills on this card to create a fun little scene. And I'll have a video for this card coming up soon on my YouTube channel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But today I'm going to be using the Fun Shapes Border Dies to make four cards. So this die set has four different edge dies. You have a stitched straight line edge die and then there's a scallop one underneath and then there are two other fancy edged dies that go in this set. And in addition to this die set I'll be bringing in the Spring Mugs stamp set. This is such an adorable stamp set from Pink and Main. It was recently released. There are five different mugs all decked out for spring. You've got an Easter bunny, a flower, and there's an Easter egg, butterfly, and a chick. And I'll also be bringing in this stamp set, which is called Spring Peeker Places. I'm going to be using the flowers in this set. I think I'm also going to be using the Easter egg. But there's also some candy pieces, some larger eggs, and other stamps. I'm also going to be bringing in the brand new Pop Flowers paper pad. Such a beautiful spring paper pad with lots of pretty spring colors. There's lots of diagonal plaids and flowers. And there's a few other things that I'll be bringing in along the way and I'll be sure to have all supplies linked in the description box of this video as well as on my blog. So if you're interested in anything that you see today, please check the description box of this YouTube video and my blog for more details. So I am going to start out coloring these adorable mug stamps using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens and all of the marker colors that I use on my images today will be on my blog so if you're interested in duplicating any of the colors make sure you check the blog for that. So I will be showing the coloring of all of these adorable mugs but I will not be showing the coloring of the flower stamps that I choose to use from the Spring Peekers stamp set. I'll do that one off camera. So if you want to stick around and watch me color up these adorable Spring Easter mugs you can stick around for that. Otherwise if you want to skip right to me making the cards you can jump to timestamp 7 minutes and 29 seconds.
welcome back everyone. So now that I finished coloring those images, I'm going to use the coordinating dies and I'll die cut them all out. And once they're all die cut, I will set them aside as I work on my first card. So for my first card, I'm going to use this first die, which is a straight edged border die. I have white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches, and then the pink pattern paper is four inches by, it's eventually going to be by two inches, so I'll cut the right side off of there in just a moment. But what I'm doing is I'm placing the pattern paper on top of the bottom part of the white cardstock and just placing the die over top. I'm just seeing where I want to cut my uh, white cardstock, so I'm trying to make sure that I have it down far enough so that when I put the pattern paper on the bottom of the white cardstock, that all I, all I see below the die is the pattern paper. So I want to make sure there's no white showing, so that's why I'm just placing it here to make sure that I don't have any white showing after I die cut it. So now that I've come up with my final measurement, and I'm going to just take some mint tape and tape this down to my white cardstock, making sure that I remove the pattern paper from underneath this die, because I don't want to die cut the pattern paper, I only want to die cut the white cardstock. So once that comes out of the die cut machine, this is what you are left with. You actually have two sheets here that you can use on a card if you wanted to. And I say you have two sheets here because you have stitching on both sides. You have stitching on the bottom and on the top. You can use both of these pieces if you wanted to on a piece of pattern paper. You can see if I did something like this, you can have some pattern paper showing in the middle of that stitched area. And you can make that a vertical card or a landscape card. It's simply up to you. But I'm not going to do that today. Instead, I'm just going to use the top white banner piece for my card today. So I have another piece of white cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And this time I'm going to use the scalloped edge die to die cut a scallop out of the white cardstock. But I want that scallop to be a little bit lower than the initial banner piece that I die cut out so that it looks like it's layering. So I'm going to go ahead and just measure that so that that die is a little bit beneath the initial die cut piece. And I'll put some mint tape on that piece of cardstock and I will run this through my die cutting machine. And when it comes out, you can see that beautiful scalloped edge that it puts there on that cardstock. So these two pieces of cardstock will be layered together. So you can use them individually or layered like I'm going to do. But you can see the stitching on the first layer and then the scallop on the second layer. So next I'm going to go ahead and bring in another piece of white cardstock that also measures four by five and a quarter inches. And I'll also bring in the piece of pink pattern paper. So on this piece of cardstock, I'm going to glue down my pink and white pattern paper. It's a little bit larger than the white cardstock, but I'll cut off the excess on the right side so that this pink pattern paper does measure four by two inches once it's glued down. Next, I'm gonna glue down the two pieces of white cardstock that I cut the edges out of. I'm going to add the stitched edge on top of the scalloped edge and then I'm going to glue those right on the top portion of that white cardstock. Now I am going to scoot this up just a little bit because I wanted to have more pattern paper showing at the bottom. So when I add this piece I'm going to scoot it up probably about so that a quarter inch or maybe an eighth of an inch is shown up at the top and then I'll just use my paper trimmer and then I'll just trim that off so that the final piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Next I'm going to layer on my stamps. I'm going to use the bunny mug and I'm going to add some of the flowers and I'll also add a sentiment. The sentiment is also from the Spring Mugs stamp set and the sentiment I'm using says Java Great Spring. So I'm going to add the flowers underneath the mug and then I'll add the individual flowers on the left and right side. 
I'll go ahead and add this to an A2 size white card base and then I'm going to add some of the pop flowers sticky pearls to the center of the flowers and that will complete this card. So for my next card design, I have a piece of white cardstock that I cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches, which is a standard A2 size card size. And I'm taking this straight edged stitched border die and I'm aligning it at the top five and a half inch side of that card panel. And I'm making sure that the point on that die is in the middle. Just putting some mint tape on this and I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. When this comes out of the die cutting machine, you're left with two pieces here. You have the top smaller piece and then the larger bottom piece and both have stitching on them. Next I'm going to take the larger bottom piece of cardstock and I'm going to put that same die exactly as I did with the first piece. So line it up so that it's positioned towards the bottom of that panel, making sure the point is in the middle and adding some mint tape and running that through my die cutting machine. And when that comes out of the die cutting machine, now you have three pieces of cardstock. So if I take another piece of pattern paper that measures the same measurements, four and a quarter by five and a half inches and layer the top panel and the bottom white panel on top of it, you see the really cool design that you get. You can also put the center diamond shaped panel right in the middle and then just have the yellow pattern paper on the top and bottom. So those are a couple of options, but I'm gonna move a step further because I don't like those flat edges on the left and right side of this piece. So I'll take this piece of white cardstock and I'm going to die cut it again with the same die, making sure that the corners here are lined up with the die. So I'm just gonna flip this over just to make sure I have everything even and making sure that I can get the corners lined up so that when this die cuts, it will be the shape of a diamond with pointed edges. And I'll be able to use this in the middle part of my card. So you can see here how the die lines up with the corners on that white cardstock. So I'll go ahead and run this through my die cutting machine. And when that comes out, you can see that it actually straightens out those edges. So they're not flat, now they're more pointed. And this other piece I don't need. If you wanted to keep that and use it somehow on a card, you can, because it does have stitching on the top and bottom. So if you wanted to use it, I'm sure you can probably figure out some way of using that on a card front. But I'm not gonna use that one today. So here I'm going to take this diamond shaped piece and you can use that in the middle of a piece of pattern paper or you can have the top piece and the white bottom piece and you can add the diamond shape in the middle and just have that pattern paper peeking out all along the edges of that diamond shape. I think that's a pretty neat design and that's the design I'm going to go with today. So I went ahead and glued the top white piece down to the pattern paper as well as the bottom white piece and now I'm just adding the shape in the middle. And then I'm going to add my stamped images to the center. For this card, I'm going to be using the egg shaped mug and the chick mug. And I'll glue those down. I'm also going to be using the sentiment that says, may your cup overflow with joy. And I popped that on some foam, so it's popped up a little bit in front of those mugs. And then I'm gonna add two little Easter eggs right in the middle of the mugs. I added some of the pop flower sticky pearls to the card. And I also added that panel to an A2 size white card base. And that card is now complete. You can also use these border dies to cut an edge out of the front panel of your card base. So I'm gonna take this decorative scalloped border die and I'm just gonna place it here at the bottom of my A2 size card base. My card base is showing at open flat on the table and 
the bottom part is the front of the card. So I'm just putting it here, centering it up. I'm going to add some mint tape and run this through my die cutting machine. And when that comes out of the die cutting machine, you can see that it cuts that beautiful edge out of the front of the card. So you can see the scallop, and you can do this with any of these dies. I'm going to go ahead and fold out the score lines so you can see this a little bit better. And there is the front of the card. I'm going to use the matching die. Now this one doesn't have a scallop. This one is just a stitch die. And I'm going to die cut this piece of flower pattern paper. My blue flower pattern paper, I did cut that to four by five and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to die cut it with the die. And then that I can layer right on top of the front panel of my A2 size card. So I'll go ahead and glue that down. And then if you wanted to put some pattern paper on the inside so that you had a different color pattern display underneath, you can do that as well. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I did cut the inside pattern to four and one eighth by five and three eighth inches and I'll attach it to the inside of the card. Next I'm going to work on a sentiment for this card and here I'm showing you the Welcome Spring Foilable Kit. These are foil panels that you would use foil and a mink machine to get some beautiful sparkle foil on all of those toner sheets. There are some spring designs and there's also some spring sentiments that are included in this kit. And I'm going to use one of the sentiments in here for my cards today. So the sentiment I'm going to use is the one here. It says Happy Spring. And I'm going to start out by taking a circle die and I'm just going to die cut it from this toner sheet. I'm going to put some mint tape on this die to hold it down. I am going to cut this away from the toner sheet because I don't need to run this entire thing through my die cutting machine, just the part that I die cut. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors here and just cut this apart. And then I'll die cut this with the circle die. And now I'm ready to do some foiling on top of this toner sheet. So I'll start out by removing any dust particles with an anti-static cloth. And then I'm going to use this brand new cheer foil from Pink and Main. This is the Tinsel Lavender Cheer Foil. It's a really pretty um, purple color. So I went ahead and put my toner sheet inside of my carrier sheet and then placed my foil on top. And I'm just running this through my mink machine on setting four. So once it's finished, it does come out the other side of the machine. And then I'll just peel back that foil and look how pretty that sentiment is. So now I have this negative piece and I don't want this to go to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my um, solid black toner sheets from Pink and Main. And I'm just going to cut a little piece of this down to size so that it'll fit this negative piece of foil. So then I'll go ahead and place that toner sheet with the foil on top inside of my carrier sheet and I'll run that through my mink machine. So once that's finished, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I'll go ahead and peel back this foil. Now I will say that I wish I had some white toner sheets because I think that white would have looked so much better. Um, rather than the black toner sheets, but you can still see all of that beautiful foiling with the words Happy Spring. And now you can just die cut that sentiment out. So here you just have the negative, only the words are in black, and you have all of that foil surrounding the sentiment. It's so pretty. So next I'm going to take some white twine from my stash, and I'm just going to wrap it around the top of this card and then I will tie it in a knot here and then I'm going to tie it in a bow. 
and then I'll just snip off the ends of that bow. Next I'll go ahead and glue down the flower mug and the sentiment and then I'll add a few of the flowers on the mug. And that will complete this card. For my next card, I have a piece of white cardstock. I cut it to four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I'm taking the straight edged border die and I'm placing it at the top quarter of the cardstock. And I ran that through my die cutting machine. And again, that gives you two pieces that you can work with, but I am only going to be working with the larger piece. I will be bringing in another paper pad. It is the World to Me paper pad, and I'm in fact not even sure if this is in stock any longer, but I chose this paper pad because it had some paper that had purple and yellow in it, which will match the last mug that I'm going to be using. So you can see the two pieces of white cardstock that you get. You can use either one on your card. You can put the small white piece on there and have more of the pattern paper if you wanted to. Or you can use the larger white piece and have less of the pattern paper and more white showing and that's the look that I'm going to go for. And I'm going to have that mug so that it's positioned right over that angle in the white cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the white cardstock to the pattern paper. So the pattern paper I did cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I'm just going to add the white cardstock onto it so that it is even at the bottom. And then I'm going to take that cardstock and put it in my MISTI and I'm going to stamp down a sentiment. The sentiment's going to be positioned along that diagonal line right below the stitching mark. So I'm using a sentiment from the January mug stamp set and I chose this sentiment because it's a small sentiment. I was looking for something very small and not so large and this one says love you lots so I just lined it up there and stamped it out with some black ink and now I'm just going to add my mug stamp right over the angle in that border. I think this is such a clean and simple card. I love how this turned out and I also added some of the little pop flower sticky pearls to the card. So here are the four cards that I created using the border dies and the spring mug stamps. I hope I was able to give you some inspiration using border dies on your cards. Again, I will have links down in the description box and on my blog if you're interested in any of the supplies I used today. And if you had a favorite card, I would love to hear which card is your favorite. Leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this and want to see more, please click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.